This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a show quality 1972 Chevy Nova. This is an absolutely stunning Nova. Beautiful paint, great wheels and tires. I love how that dual, dual exhaust comes over that rear axle um, and dumps right there behind the rear tires. Just beautiful. Under the hood show quality too. Every ounce of this car, even when we, wait till we get in the interior, but check out the firewall paint, the inner fenders. I mean, every part of this car has been completely dismantled, professionally restored, reinstalled, and uh, built to perfection. Check out the quality of just that flat black on the inner fenders, kind of that satin black there. Um, the front suspension's got all adjustable front suspension on it. Tubular A-arms, power steering, headers, power disc brakes in the front. And uh, the quality of this cowl hood paint, you can kind of go in here and just all the little details on the back of the firewall and everything is cool. We've had a lot of nice Novas, even recently. This is probably one of the nicest ones we've probably the nicest of those um, and those are really nice cars as well but i like the color the wheels the stance um, i like everything about this one i'd call this a gorgeous show quality restoration period yep now as i mentioned before it's got a complete adjustable front suspension so if a guy wants just a little bit of a, a taller stance on it feel free to do that are those LEDs? Yes, they are. Yep. Cool. LED headlights on it. All the chrome and the bright work is excellent. The metallic in this paint job was laid perfectly too. As you go around it, you don't see any spots that are blotchy. Everything's laid smooth, lined up nice. We've sold some, like Dalton said earlier, sold some really cool Novas. Got a little box elder bug hanging out. Come on, buddy. Not really anyone compared to this one. I love the choice of wheels too, just gorgeous chrome wheels, really nice tire size on this thing. Uh, 195, 65, 15s on the front with disc brakes. And we always usually really like the raised white letters, but on this car, I really like the black walls. And the raised whites are on the inside, so a guy can definitely switch those out if you want to. Man, just the quality of the paint job on this Nova is just fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's got the, I don't know if you can see from there or not, but it's got the chromed out like ladder bars too, which just add to the, you know, to the flashiness of this car. Another thing that everyone's going to love, bucket seats with a console and the correct, uh, correct console with it too. It's got all the factory gauges and the factory tachometer, which is really nice. We're going to start here in the door jams, but like I said, underneath the hood, every piece of this car was taken apart, painted, and then all reassembled. So the paint on the door jams is just as nice as the rest of the paint on the car. Chrome and stuff's all nice and clean up here. I think I did notice, and I don't know what this is. Do you? It's, it's kind of, yeah, just some little spots on this chrome right here, all along the top on this. So a guy might want to just go ahead and replace that if you're I'm surprised steel wool didn't take it out. I'm surprised too. The paint in the door jam still looks wet, doesn't it? Bottom of the yeah, door the paint's great. Rubbers, door panels, armrest. The condition of the interior on this is just amazing. It's got the correct bucket seats. So when I say that, the pattern matches beautifully from front to back. And so many times on these Novas, they throw in the wrong seats. The back seat never really matches perfectly to the front. And um, they're just kind of a kind of a cheaper car, new, so you don't see many of them restored to this quality at all. 
and a lot of guys when they restore them they you know they build them just go have some fun with so they they do a cheap job restoring them and put a big motor in it mm -hmm. um but this one was just taken to that show quality level definitely look at this so this uh the inside panels here the paint job on them they've all been wet sanded and buffed too i mean the paint on the top of the dash is flawless i love the choice of the steering wheel Again, 81,116 miles with a factory tack, clock, all the heater controls and stuff all move freely. It's got an aftermarket Pioneer CD player. Visors are nice and tight, rear view mirror, visors. Everything's brand new on the inside of this gorgeous show quality Nova. And this color, I called it burgundy and, and you could call it that, but it's almost like a, a wine color, like a, a red wine, like a deep, yeah. It's beautiful. It's a little different than some of the burgundies I've seen. Again, the paint looks just completely wet here in the jam of the trunk as well. If you've been watching our site for a while, and like Dalton said, we sold a gorgeous red Nova, really nice silver Nova, just as in the last yeah. burgundy one. Yeah, really cool driver, fast burgundy one, just as of late. Um, this one is, uh, I don't know how to just a little, just a notch up from, you know, a couple of those, um, uh, all nice cars, but this one just, it's a little more to it. Yeah. The trunk's immaculate and it looks like they cleared, they did the trunk spackle and then they cleared it. So is it's got that nice shiny finish. And what I like about that is it really keeps that light surface rust. Mm -hmm. When they clear that, it just keeps that from happening. Cause when you put these mats down, they're going to draw moisture. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen and you're gonna get that light surface rust. So if you do put that clear down on top of it, it just stops that in the track. And it so. helps, you know, when you look at it, it's just got that nice shine and finish. Yep. New bumpers, new badges, taillight lenses are clear. I hate to, to find out the, the amount of money spent on this restoration of this car, making it this straight and nice. I mean, probably well more than what we're asking for it, that's for sure. Uh, it does have a couple tiny little paint imperfections right here on that corner. And then just a tiny little chip there if we're going to be picky. Okay. Well, I'll just point out whatever we see. I don't see much on on this gorgeous car. But like I said, on this side, you can see that kind of metallic in that sail area. And it kind of shows as more of like a, like I said, a wine color that you'd see. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Back glass, chrome around the back window looks great. Top of the roof is awesome. Driver's side, laser straight. Door fits nice. And I agree with you, D, that uh, chrome tip coming out back there is fantastic. I'm excited to drive this car. I'm, I'm guessing just by the appearance of it and by the money spent, I'm guessing it's gonna drive just as good as it looks. I hope so, I haven't drove it yet either. It sure sounds nice though. It does. Corner of that door's never had any body work. Um, floor pans and frame rails, everything's super solid and nice. Just suit, really nice quality window felts, door panels. I mean, just nothing was cheaply done on the interior or body of this car. As we start it back up again, we'll just go through a few of the things. Before we start it, we'll check the fan switch here and see what we got. Fan works on low, medium, and high, and everything's nice. And we're gonna go ahead for today and shut that off. Everything's moves freely. As far as our radio goes, so we can get a station in here. Sounds like the six by nines in back are working great. Uh, Tucked up for auxiliary radio, CD, so we can plug uh, our phone in here as well. I'm 
I was just listening to this song the other day. Were you really? It yeah. sounds good, oh, yeah. man. Doesn't it? Yeah, it I think got to see a little bit of your disco fever dancing out yeah. here. It's been a while. Sounds like, I know it doesn't have any subs or anything, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds great. It's awesome. And that's what this car is. I mean, you can just jump in and go and really enjoy it. So as we started here, factory tack works and it works great. We went through the heater already. Excellent. Obviously, you you know heard us uh, listen to that CD. Yep. Uh, the only thing that so far, there we go. Orange working too. Um, it's charging properly. Gas gauge works. Oil pressure is way over there on 75. We're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna do our first little reverse. We're gonna do the whole drive part in reverse. <laughs> We'll go ahead and shut the uh, radio down, but the radio sounds really nice. Yeah, even, I'm sure you mentioned this already, but even the paint on the top of the dash. It's sick, isn't it? Yes, yeah, like you said, it's all like been cut and buffed, just like the exterior of the car. It's, it's definitely, uh, it's a high-end car, is the exact way to put it. Not sure, we haven't drove it yet, so I'm not sure if the kick down works, stuff like that to kind of take off and see what we got for power. Out. Might just go through the gears first, manually. Yeah. I didn't notice that a factory tack too, that's awfully nice. Oh yeah. She runs. Damn right it does. Oh wow, look at the brakes. Power disc brakes, I mean this thing will stop right now. Look at that. That's excellent. The pedal's way up here. Fantastic that way. Um, I just went through the gears manually, shifted it at 4,000 RPM. Listen to it idle right here. I mean, it's just kind of coasting to a little idle. Oil pressure's still about 70. Dash pad just feels very nice, no cracks. Whoever restored this car could damn near restore <laughs> anyone. I, I'd take, uh, any of my cars to them, I'll tell you that. It's freaking nice. Mechanically awesome too, second gear scratch. Go ahead and roll the window up, shall we? Yeah, it does sound really cool. Going down the road, 65, 70, no hands on the wheel, 3,000 RPM at 70 right now. I'm gonna just take it down to about 50, 55 and just see if that passing gear is gonna, you know, if the kick down is gonna work. It doesn't seem to wanna kick down at 70, but it might do it at a little lower gear. A lot of times you have to do it. The cool thing with a with one of these little Novas with a 350, you know, not being a big block, big blocks, we want to shift them well before 5,000 RPMs, 45 to 5 tops. But these little small blocks, I mean, they'll handle some RPMs. So we can definitely be doing about 60 down the road. Drop that down. just like that so this car will perform freaking awesome but it does need a kick down you know if you want to do that kick down otherwise the cool thing with a freaking bucket seats and console just take it down a second man oh yeah awesome well check this one out on the website coyoteclassics.com link it will be in the comment section of this video thank you for watching and we'll see you next time